Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a quick cash stuffing. Okay, so I am just going to go ahead and jump right in. I know that my setup looks a little bit different and that is because my family is in town and they are actually staying in the room that I use to film so I'm going to try to hurry up so that I'm not like in my parents way even though they are visiting my house I just you know like for them to have their space so they can go and relax whenever they want to um, but I am just going to go ahead and pull the receipts out of my wallet I scanned these into Fetch, if you don't know what that is, it is a app where you scan in receipts to get points. I have a Chick-fil-A receipt and a Walmart receipt, but I'm just going to put those to the side and then I will scan them in as soon as I'm done filming. If you are interested in joining Fetch, I do have a referral code that you can use. It gives me extra points and it gives you extra points as well. So if you're not already using it, I highly recommend that you do. I'm really close to getting a $25 Amazon gift card, so if you do use my referral code you will help me get that $25 gift card. I did um, show my budget binder in this last video that I filmed and I did use it. In the last video I said that I was like nervous to mess it up um, and I'm still nervous to mess it up but I went ahead and used the money breakdown so I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out because that is going to be my little cheat sheet of what I need to be cash stuffing today. Okay, so first up we have spending, and as you can tell, I still have $50 in here. I'm going to roll that over. This is my personal spending money, and I'm going to roll it over so that I can spend it on you guys. I'm going to be spending my personal money for my giveaway prizes, so stay tuned. I will be announcing a giveaway both on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna be announcing it real soon, probably this next week. So I am going to be putting 100 in. So 100, wait, so 50, 150. Groceries is going to be getting 200. My family is here visiting. And I recently upped my grocery money from 150 to 200 and it was a godsend. I'm so happy I did that. So 150, 170, 190, and 200. Eating out is going to be getting 80 because like I said, I have my parents visiting and we probably will go out to eat at a restaurant at some point. Um, my parents prefer to eat at home, but I'm sure that at some point we're going to eat out. And usually I only put like $40 to $50 because we usually stick to like drive throughs and convenience food. Uh, but since we do have two extra hands to help us at the restaurant, we might actually go out to a restaurant. So I am going to be stuffing $20, $40, $60, $70, $80. And Household is getting the typical $30 and I did use the money that I had in here which was $30 to buy a face wash and um, what did I buy? I bought face wash and some hand soap for the bathrooms. Next is miscellaneous and it's going to be getting $25. All these envelopes are empty by the way. I spent every single dollar. I actually reallocated some of my money to eating out. If you follow me on Instagram, I went out to eat at this Mexican restaurant um, on Thursday when we picked up my parents and it was so good. I got birria. It was, oh my God, amazing. So I reallocated some money from miscellaneous into eating out so that we could pay for that. And then kindness is getting five. So one, two, three, four, and five. I usually put ones in here so that way I can kind of spread the love whenever I get um, the opportunity to. So yeah, now my wallet is all done. And so we stuff spending, groceries, eating out, household, 
miscellaneous and kindness. And if you guys are ever wondering where I got my envelopes from, these white ones are from the Aesthetic Dollar and I have her shop link down below. And then these pink ones are from Terra Bear Budgets. And then this one I made myself. But my wallet is good to go, so excited about that. Next, we are going to be doing my sinking funds. So sorry if I'm like fumbling around a little bit, it's because I'm not used to having it set up a little bit differently, but it's because I'm gonna have to like pick it up and put it away as soon as I'm done, so. Um, I didn't want to send. I didn't want to spend too much time like setting everything up just to put it all away again. But so sinking funds. I actually moved some of my, my envelopes around, but you'll see that in just a minute. So birthdays is going to be getting one hundred. So birthdays now has. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this open. Let's see if it'll stay open. So birthdays has 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 305. I pulled some money out of here because we got my son a birthday gift. But I am actually going to be um, taking some money out of here really soon because we need to buy like the supplies for his birthday party, like the decor and stuff. So I am happy that I have that stocked up for now. Home renovations is getting skipped. Christmas is going to be getting a 50 because I don't want to forget about Christmas even though we have lots of stuff coming up I need to make sure that I'm still stuffing Christmas so currently Christmas has 150 250 we still have half of the year so my goal is to do about four to five hundred okay vehicle maintenance is getting 25 we actually decided that we are going to be spending this money on getting tint for our vehicles because fun fact in Germany you can't have tint on your vehicles so here in California that you definitely need it because it gets hot so currently we have 50 150 70 175 so that might pay for one of the vehicles but we want to get tint on both just because it is so hot. I'm going to be taking this envelope and putting it in my wallet tonight. I might actually take the money out and give it to my husband so that he can pay for it when the bill comes instead of me pulling my wallet out. Do you guys do that? Let me know what you do for that. So date night is getting 40. Okay, so date has 50, 100, 120, 140, 150, 155, 156, and 157. So my husband told me that he is taking me to this really cool place that I've been wanting to go to since we got here. It's called the library and it's kind of like a bar and they also have like live music sometimes. So I'm really excited about that. I will let you guys know. School is going to be getting 45, so two 20s and a five. You guys, this cheat sheet is making my life so much easier. So 50, 150, 200, two, tw uh, let me count it again. So 50, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 285. I don't know why I got tripped up. So 50, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 285. So 285 and back to school. I am stuffing this one until we have 350. Baby, we are skipping. Haircuts, we are skipping. We still have $30 in there. Nails, I am going to be putting 40. I just got my nails done. I hope you guys like them. I love them. And then here I just have, this is actually our garage sale income, which I deposited. So that's the receipt for the deposit. And then this is money that needs to go back to the bank. So I'm just gonna leave that there. And then some of this is going to go into savings challenges. Okay, so those two are done. And we're gonna move on to savings challenges. 
so I have started filling this out. I need to go back and fill in the rest of the days. I think we are the, I don't know, today's Saturday, so I need to go in and fill the rest of the days in here. And then um, I just want to fill in another one of these and another one of these. So I allocated $20. So for the compulsive saver, I will be adding another 10. I'm just gonna use this red marker. I was using a pink one, but I don't know what I did with it, so I'm just gonna use this one. Oh no, you guys, I think this was a mistake. It's like super dark. I'm probably gonna go back to the pink one for next time. Okay, so that's what I get. I used one of those wet erase. Not going to do that again. Uh, but anyways, I have $30 in here now. This is the savings challenge freebie that I got from the Aesthetic Dollar. And then I also want to do the croissant. So I currently have $10 in here and I want to stuff another 10 so I think I'm going to do a five so I'm going to do this five down here see for this for the laminating one this is perfect but on paper I'm probably not going to do that again and I'll do this one And this savings challenge is from REL Plans. Isn't it so cute? So I did two fives. Yay, so now we have 20 in there. When I'm done, I'll let you guys know what I decide to use this for. I'm probably gonna use this for travel, like an overnight trip or something. Maybe a weekend trip, it's 500, so we'll see. I always struggle getting this back in. I think I actually need to get one of those like envelopes that doesn't have a zipper. It will be easier to put in. Okay. So that is done. And then I have, okay, and then I have an extra $35 here. And this is actually going to be just extra fun money for us. Um, but I don't want to put it in the spending envelope because usually that's just like my personal spending. So I do need like a family fun envelope. Um, so I'm just going to put this in my wallet and then um, we'll use it as we need it. I think we're going to try to go to like a museum or something while my parents are here. So that's probably what I will use this money for. But yeah, I do need to get like a family fun envelope or something like that. So we'll see. We will see what I come up with. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I know that it was like super quick. Um, but I still hope that you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my wallet right now. So I am just going to put it... Where should I put it? Maybe I'll just put it back here. Or maybe... I'm going to put it in this little spot right here and I'll just know that that is like if we go out to do anything with my parents and we have like any like entrance fees or something like that then I can just use that but yeah guys I hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't seen my last video I would really love it if you went and checked it out it is a debt update so I am sharing with you guys the progress that we've made on our debt payoff and I would really love to have your feedback. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.